Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lotus Reptiles, and today we're gonna do some of the clutch updates. Now we start, we're gonna start doing this a little different, which means it's gonna be all kind of jumbled this year. So I ain't gonna promise we're gonna hit everything. But uh, what we decided to start doing, and I'll, I'll explain why we're doing it this way now, and it's just gonna make more sense, I think, to us and easier. So what kind of happened before is we're going through, we're filming other stuff. You know, my my camera crew is only here two or one day a week for camera crew stuff, and we're trying to film other things. And you just kind of get behind can't remember where, where you were at and if you look at last year we filmed every egg cutting and we didn't film every clutch update people were kind of like oh we want more clutch updates so this year we're like okay we're gonna do it we can't remember which ones we filmed at this point uh it's just not an easy thing to do then you kind of sit down and have to like okay we're gonna film clutch updates today and you know but then we want to do like doesn't work it just doesn't work and then too we feel like the video turns into a channel of like i mean we're gonna do 45 sets of babies 45 clutch updates is almost half the videos we put out in a year that doesn't work man and it's not going to be conducive to what we do so here's what we decided and what we're going to do and how we're going to start doing this is like we do the egg cuttings man we film them and then pretty soon after not necessarily the next day but in the next weeks so i got to get it loaded and all that we post those up and so we're going to start doing the same things with uh clutch updates we're going to start with 16 today we might work backwards from there some but 16 is ones we just set up a few days ago we're going to try to work from as we set them up to filming that clutch update right then. So you're going to see them after the first shed. Uh, everything will show you what their weight is as new babies. If I can find my scale. Oh, it's right there. The cable going to like, be like a ninja to hand me that on the camera. Um, so you can kind of see most of these haven't probably even had their first meal yet. They've been offered food once on these. But it was like three days after they got set up. So that's how we're going to start doing it. That does mean we may miss a few in there but you're going to get to see them. It also means you get more content because it's going to be an extra video crammed in the middle of the week in a lot of weeks. Some weeks it may fall into our normal day. Uh, so you're going to get our two regular videos, egg cuttings, which will sometimes be a regular video, sometimes not, clutch updates, which will sometimes be a regular video, sometimes not. And as we continue to expand, and next year, you know, hopefully we do more clutches. If that will we do more, you're not going to get to where you have a channel that's nothing but egg cuttings and nothing but clutch updates because let's be honest everybody kind of does that and after a while it just gets old so we want to keep doing other videos based on the business our life uh what we like and some other aspects so without further ado let's get on to this and that does mean these will be cell phone films so somebody's like oh you need to get a microphone when we do our actual film days we're gonna have a microphone when we do some of these quick easy things it's gonna be just shot on the cell phone and moving so just bear with us a little bit on that uh, we may find different equipment, but this is meant to be kind of like a raw, quick, bam, here it is kind of thing. So what kind of we're going to go with for style on this? You're going to see those styles in the next months hopefully change a little bit in some of the plans I've got. i got to get through about a year before I can put some of those into action. So bear with me. So let's go ahead and do it. Clutch number 16 was a Calico Blitz to a Spot Nose Pastel. Let me show you those parents like we normally do. Uh, my goodness, fucking I think is in the way. So this is a Calico Blitz. And again, this is our Blitz. This is not, like, our Blitz is nice. Not all Blitzes are created equal. Ours is super nice. So this is what a Calico Blitz does. It's a very strange interaction. Not what you would expect out of that snake when we paired it. That's how they come out looking. You get a lot of that Blitz pattern. The white in our experience of doing several Calico Blitzes over the years is always very, very low. Uh, somebody hits a high one, that'd be really cool. But the tail pattern is going to be a dead giveaway along with the weird belly. As you can see, she's still getting fattened back up. Uh, she'll take a little while, she usually does, to get fattened back up. But she's doing just fine. You are back on food, doing great. So let me put you back up. Now, as we work this Blitz project, uh, just to give you a little background, you know, we did Blitz Champagne, which we did again this year for a different reason. Uh, we did Blitz Calico, found that to be very, very crazy. We then added Pastel into it last year, if you remember seeing that, and that was pretty cool. It kind of did what you'd expect it to do, as opposed to keeping that crazy thing, because the Pastel Calico interacts, the Blitz Calico interacts, and somehow it comes out looking like what you would expect. So this year, we wanted to add something else that would crazy that up a little bit if possible, and we chose... This boy right here. This is our pastel spot nose. So, if you look at the spot nose, you get some crazy, crazy patterning. It brightens the colors up uh, a lot with being just single gene pastel on the spot nose. 
this would be really cool in our Hellfire project, actually. Uh, so when you start looking at these kind of things, I thought, what would that do in this pairing? Well, stick with us and just maybe, just maybe, you'll get a chance to see. Uh, let me get my computer back right in here. So let's go get the first egg, 221601. Now, the flat truth is, they can't all be bangers, okay? They just, they just can't. Uh, boy, I wish they all could. It's a cool looking little snake, but it's just a pastel, weighing in a 68 grams. Still got some yolk in there to digest it, which is pretty normal right now. I expect to actually go down a little bit, start eating, and go back up. Kind of how that usually works. But, just a little pastel. Nothing too crazy, right? Nothing too crazy. So let's check number two. Hmm. Hmm. Put that on there. Also a male, 65 grams. Seeing some consistency. So this thing here, you're going to see some change as it ages. Come here, straighten out. And what you're seeing is all that pink in there. <laughs> Give me your tail. And then you're going to see that pattern craziness on the tail there and the linking up through there. And that pink, that light area, we expect to turn white because what we think we're looking at here is a pastel calico. Now this isn't going to be the craziest, highest expression pastel calico I've ever seen. Um, but I don't see blitz in here or anything like that. I see just pastel calico. That being said, it is very nicely blushed throughout. So we'll pay attention as it ages. Maybe we are uh, missing something in there, but you can see what we're talking about. It's going to turn white all through there. So pastel calico there. Whoa! Don't want to tear the threads getting caught on the door. Now. This is a little different, okay? This, put this one on the scale. A little bit lighter than the other ones, but not much. 58. This is a pastel calico blitz. Also a male on this clutch. We were male heavy. You're going to get that sometimes, you know. Usually it all works out in the end. So what you're going to see is a whole bunch of pattern and tail linking, even more so than before. That is the aspect where the blitz <laughs> and the calico can be seen playing together right through there okay and all of that and that underneath side that's what you saw in mom correct and you're also going to see that yellow or that kind of peachy we expect that to turn white the calico influence is very strong through there and then you're just seeing these eyelets are a lot bigger that's kind of a telltale sign it's most tombstone it's most belly pattern here of what we're used to seeing in our blitzes and this type of combo that's a good example of what we'd expect from a blitz there. Good example of what we'd expect from a blitz, how wide that is. You know, a lot of the alien heads, except for that one, are kind of turning into one big keyhole, and they'll try to twist up. The pastel prevents some of that a little bit, but that's pastel calico blitz. And, because those are so nice, I'll show you another one. Now this one's a female. We didn't hit all males, so we were male heavy. Uh, you're going to see a very similar thing. That linking in the tail, more so on this side than that side. That's a calico thing. All of that's going to turn white through there. We fully expect it. Super, super blushed out. Big keyholes throughout. Big keyholes throughout. Um... You start to get those onion rings going on. Those are all signs of, of blitz when you mix that in there. So calico, blitz, pastel. Now, this is three out of the four genes, right? Well, I guess you could have a super pastel. No, you couldn't. So this is all we could have would be a calico, blitz, pastel, spot nose. So what would happen if we added that last gene in? Well, don't worry.
I'm very happy with this baby, other than it's sex. It's another male, uh, which is terrible for me. It's going to be great for somebody on Patreon, most likely. This is a kick-ass die fly, a kick-ass looking snake. It looks exactly as I expected it to look, which you don't always get to say when I was envisioning this pairing in my head. Um, came out pretty, pretty par for the course. You get that nice, really light head, that spot nose and pastel playing together. You're bringing in all that's going to turn white through there. The pastels really help and bring the high whites as this thing ages. It's going to be really nice. Um, the tail is super linked up on this side. See that? Not so much on that side. It'll get, but that's pretty normal. We see it usually more on one side than the other. And then you're getting all that blown out pattern. You know, that is part of the blitz working through there. You're seeing it wanting to even twist up, wanting to twist through there, through there, through there. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. And then the pattern is just so much busier because the blitz adds so much of that. The spot nose added so much of that. The spot nose brings in even more color. Uh, and then, of course, the calico is going to go bleed some of that to white and then crazy things up in the back third. Uh, this is a badass snake. Like, I really, really like how this came out. And again, pastel, blitz, calico, spot nose. So, there you are. Caleb, any questions on those? No questions today. All right, guys, like I say, we're going to keep a lot of these short. This was a little bit longer, so we had to kind of lay the groundwork for what we're going to be doing in the future on the front end. But now you know, and we're going to go over to Patreon and talk about what's going to happen with these babies. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.